about last night. Let's get to D-Max, Mac. I'm very curious what's on your mind. We had an off day. Maybe you can tell me what you did with your off day. We didn't have the abs to watch. We didn't have the nuggets to watch. I mean, did was I the only one watching the Rockies? RJ, good morning. Good morning to you, RJ. Rockies tied the franchise record for most consecutive games where they trailed the 30 games. Records are made to be broken. Got another shot at that. It's a little bit later this morning. Good morning. Can't wait to hear the prime discussion with Nate and Chad today. Whew, bad look for Dion. Um, we will get into that, Wesley, for sure. But we did get into it yesterday as well. Because a lot of that news came out. But it it definitely went into um, overdrive yesterday as all of that stuff was um, a big story. So, yeah, we will we'll, we'll get back into it. Um, today at 9 a.m. for sure with Nate and Chad. Uh, and and I did talk about it too at the end of Hangout Live yesterday. So if you want to get my, it's in the like final 10 minutes. If you want to go to yesterday and see it, it's it's there as well. Uh, good morning, Brent. Good morning to you. Andon, my guy, here we go. Listen, let me tell you. I don't know how to pronounce Z A apostrophe A T A R. Zatar? Mediterranean blend. Mediterranean herb blend. Greek citrus rub. Moroccan spice rub. Just one of many flavors. Thank you, Andy. Good to see you, brother. Would love to see the Golden Knights win tomorrow and force a game seven. RJ, completely agree with you. That would be the way to go. Uh, at RJ, that was a record since 1910, Saint by the set by the St. Louis Brown. It just Brown, just St. Louis Brown, not Browns, just Brown. Uh, sorry, I wasn't clear. The franchise record they tied was for any point during the season, not just at the beginning. Like the Brown, well, is it Browns or Brown? Rockies trailed in 30 games from June 15th to July 20th, 1998. Wow, we are we are digging up some fun stats, aren't we? Yeah, RJ, I was adding to what you were saying, not correcting. I'm glad you guys are. You guys are good. All right, cool. That is an insane stat. How do you trail for that long? I don't know. I mean, they almost did break it. Two days ago, they were up 5 nothing in the bottom of the ninth on the road. So they're in the bottom of the ninth. That's, that would have broken that. Got you. Mm. If the Rockies don't win two in a row in the next five games, they will beat that franchise record two consecutive games without winning two in a row. RJ, you're digging deep on, on the stats, my man. I kind of love it. That's baseball. Pulling for Vegas. Last time we met the stars, they had the Avs number. Well, and, and I, I feel I'm rooting for Vegas as well. Um, what we saw, though, and it is crazy. The, the playoffs are truly a, a totally different animal. Totally different. So nothing you see in the regular season at this point really matters. It doesn't one way or the other. I mean, I think we all got bamboozled by Winnipeg, but they turned out to be a fraud um, organization and they beat the abs three times in the regular season. And the last being in Denver, they schooled the abs seven, nothing and they won seven to six in game one. And then they got their asses kicked. So the playoffs are just a totally different animal. And one thing the abs and nuggets have going for them is experience. They know what this feels like. And some other teams don't. They've been there. They've lost heartbreaking games. Can you say the same? Now, listen, Vegas, hey, that, that's what makes Vegas dangerous. They have that experience. They won it last year. And they're Stanley Cup team uh, champions on basically every team by hook or by crook. But Vegas is dangerous, no doubt. 
This is to be expected there. The Rockies brought back the same 100 loss team. Good morning, Roxanne. Good morning, T-Mac. Uh, this guy is still the manager, Bud Black. I get it with Bud. I understand how nice he is. I do. And I'm not calling for anybody to be fired. I'm not. Who am I to do that? But I think... I think when you lose these close games, there's something missing. I mean, these are... It's not like they're all blowouts here. Look at all the errors of the staff. They're atrocious. DMAC, do you get the feeling the players are already checking out? The Rockies players? Um, no. It's it's RJ, it's 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 too hard to be there. They are younger players. When you're given that opportunity, no, I don't think they're checking out. No. No, no, no. Uh, there's just too much on the line. You're still a major league baseball player playing in a major league game. No, I, I don't think that. No, it's too hard to get there. Uh, there's no real evidence of them checking out. Uh, okay. Although, let me tell you this. There's no evidence of them checking out. However, not checking out. That's the wrong word, I think. However, there may be a lack of belief they can finish games. There may be a feeling out there that's contagious of how are we going to blow this one? Or, or perhaps wanting to win so badly that you're just sort of gripping a little bit. Kind of have to at some point, yeah. Your Colorado Rockies, don't pin that on me. Uh... That's not good. No, it's 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 not good. Was I the only one watching Stars in Vegas? Well, I was watching the game a little bit. The Rockies had wrapped things up. Uh, maybe you were. I don't know. I gotta I gotta tell you. Um, every now and then, you can use a little bit of a sports break. Every now and then, we'll be back into it today. We'll have practices for the Avs and the Nuggets. We'll have that to consume. Be on with PhD from noon to three, which is um, just a fantastic three hours of my life. I love it, love it, love it every day. I'm very, very lucky. So um, there you go. Steven, order place. Thank you, Ann and G. Looking forward to trying your product out. Hey, there you go. Love it. Journey Spice Company, Amazon.com. You, you can see the code down there on the on the crawl. Love it. Brown, sorry, Canadian. Are you Canadian? Sorry, Browns. Yes, Zatar, going to get you uh, uh, some of that mashed avocado and whole wheat bagel. Simple and delicious. I look forward to it. Uh, night off. Tried watching Clippers, Mavs. Unwatchable, bad basketball compared to the Nuggets. We are spoiled. But Mavs won. I'm happy. Oh, all right. Okay, there you go. Is the media allowed to attend rookie minicamp next weekend? Will there be anything worthwhile to report on? You know, I mean, I definitely have been at rookie minicamp in the past. I That's a good question, Kevin. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, God, was that available last year? I, I, but I've definitely been there. I've definitely been at rookie mini camp. And if, if it's, if we can be there, I will be there. Although it is on mother's day weekend. That's a bit rough. Uh, 63. Oh, did I cross 6,300? Did I really? I didn't even know that. That's actually pretty awesome. If that's the case. Oh yeah. Right on. Hey, that's so cool. 6,300 subscribers, man. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, if you're new to this, um, thank you, first of all. We update you with all the Denver sports news um, and opinion um, live at 7 a.m. every single day. We talk more about football, NFL, CU football at 9 a.m. with Chuckle at Payne with uh, Nate Jackson and Chad Brown. 
I'm back hanging out from 4.30 to 5.30 basically every day. It's called Hangout Live. Um, and I'm on the radio noon to three every day. That's that's the basic schedule. And we try to cover as much as we possibly can. So subscribing really helps, liking and all that sort of stuff. And supporting our sponsors, Ed Prather Real Estate, edprather.com. At the furry scurry, it would make my heart feel warm and googly if you stop by the furry scurry at Wash Park, 9 a.m. Wash Park, Saturday, and um, say hi to Ed and his team. They, they're holding the boot there, and I'm a cat person, not a dog person, but I'll get my dog on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Looking forward to that. I uh, got here just in time for DMAC to defend the Rockies. I don't know if I'm defending them, brother. Are you sure I'm defending them? We're, we're pointing out that they haven't won consecutive games all year. They've trailed in 30 straight. They've scored one run in the last 17 innings of regular play and that they need to probably make a move um, in terms of management. You, you sure I'm defending them? Okay. My sources tell me they have checked out. <laughs> Well, what, what does checked out mean, though? I'm not taking my at-bat seriously enough. I'm I'm not focused. I'm, I'm a pitcher, and I'm not trying hard, even though I'm pitching for one inning. What, what's checked out? Uh, thank you so much. Can't wait to hear what you think. Leave a nice review. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds good. All right, Michael. Good morning, DMAC. Heartbroken. Michael's a Laker guy. Go Wolves. Now, when Michael says go Wolves, what he's really saying is go Nuggets. It's, it's kind of warming my heart. Ed Prather, man of the year. We'll see you at the Furry Scurry Saturday. And Ed's going to join us for the first time tomorrow during um, about last night. Look forward to it. I'm so glad that the Broncos now have a head coach that doesn't have to figure out where to stand during a game. I mean, you know. All our hopes and dreams are realized. Are we doing a Bo Nix real estate watch? How many bathrooms? How many chefs? Uh, that's actually a good question. I never even thought of that. You know, he's a millionaire like that. Von Miller did something interesting in that department. When Von Miller came here, he just got himself like a rental apartment as close to the facility as he could find. Now, later years, he developed Club 5280 and a house in Parker, and, you know, wild times were had by all. But one of the smarter things that Vaughn did was keep things very, very simple in the beginning. And I would advise that for any rookie. Tebow, like, rented a house in Cherry Hills Village for his family. It's just too ostentatious. It's Broncos Parkway and Jordan Road, basically, ish. Get yourself a nice small apartment there, and you can buy a house later. I swear to God, as a young guy, the, the more simple you can keep things, the better. Uh, isn't there a giveaway at 6,300 subscribers? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'd give away. No, there's not, but I appreciate it. RE Prime. Oh, all right. Agree on punch down. I believe the strategy is media attention based. Quote, no such thing as bad PR. I'm worried that will turn into results into results on the field and Shadur stock could fall if four and eight again. Uh, I think Shadur is gonna be fine. I think he's gonna be a first round pick. I have I have no idea if he's gonna uh, he'll be a first round guy. I mean, you're not going to see a year. Well, first of all, you've never seen a year like this past year. You've never seen six out of 12, ever. And you're not going to see it next year, too. Uh, I've seen mock drafts for 2025 already, believe it or not. And there's like three guys. Uh, Carson Beck out of Georgia, Shadur. And is it Carson Beck or Carson something? I think it's Carson Beck. I'll get to know the names eventually. It's Shadur and like Quinn Yurge out of Texas. I think there's another guy in there too. You know what? Hold on. Let's see. 20. I'll tell you. Let me let me look it up. You know what? I'll look it up and we'll do it. Chuckle at pain. 
with Nate and Chad? It's a good question. Uh, I'll bring it up at 9 a.m. with Nate and Chad. Uh, sponsors are a big deal. Be a little deal and join the channel. Support KUWT Monthly. Yeah, RJ, that actually would really help. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just pointing out it'll be a more grounded year. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Bo Nick should rent Manning's basement. He ain't lying. Uh, Milro has to be in there. You guys are the best. Furry scurry on Saturday with Ed Prather. Ed Prather Real Estate. Number one real estate team in Colorado. First hand experience. Can't believe how great they were. And of course, our friends at Journey Spice Company. Check them out. Amazon.com. More on uh, those fine fellows as we go. Okay. Slight pause. We regroup. We're uh, back on the air. Uh, 9 a.m. with Nate and Chad. Can't wait for that. You guys are the best. Like and subscribe. Zippity-doo-dah. Let's go.